The mode-based workflow in Vegas Movie Studio helps you focus on just the tools that you need to accomplish the task you're currently working on. You can switch to any of the modes at any time and switch between any specialized mode and power user mode whenever you want to. If you want to start with modes right from the beginning of your project, click the Easy Editing Modes button in the welcome screen. This takes you directly to mode number one, the Add Arrange Media mode. Further, this mode brings you directly to an open dialog where you can navigate to the media on your computer drives and add it to the project storyboard. Now that you've added media to your storyboard, you can drag the thumbnails to reorder your clips, hover scrub the thumbnails and place in and out points, preview your storyboard to see what your video looks like so far, and all of the other things that you can do in the storyboard. Notice that all unnecessary tools and buttons have been removed so that you can focus completely on the tools you need for adding and arranging media. Each mode includes the dashboard window, which lets you instantly switch to any other mode, including power user mode, where you have full access to all of your tools. Click the power user mode button now. Notice that your timeline already contains events for the clips you added and arranged in mode number one. Now let's add text. Click your timeline at the location where you want to add your text. Click the add text and titles button in the dashboard. Again, Vegas Movie Studio switches to show you just the tools you need to work with text. In addition, a text event now appears on your timeline at the cursor location on the text track. If you didn't already have a text track, Vegas Movie Studio creates one for you. The text parameter controls are open and you can immediately change the look and attributes of your text. Each time you click the Add Text and Titles button, this mode creates a new text event, so make sure you reposition the timeline cursor before you click so that your text events end up where you want them. If you don't first reposition the cursor, the new text event will lay right on top of the first one. To add generated media graphics like color gradients, noise textures, or solid colors, click the Add Graphic Elements button. Again, the window layout changes to show you just the Media Generators window. Say you want a noise texture in your project. Drag the Noise Texture thumbnail onto your timeline and position it where you want it. When you release the mouse button, an event appears where you dropped it, and the parameter controls appear in the window docking area. Choose a preset from the preset drop-down list, or adjust the parameters to get the look you're after. To add transitions between video events, first overlap one video event with another on the timeline. Now, click the Add Video Transitions button. Drag the thumbnail for the type of transition you want onto the overlap area between two events. The transition parameters open, and you can adjust the attributes to get the exact look you want. To add video effects to your project, click the Add Video Effects button. Again, drag the thumbnail for the effect you want to use onto the event or the track header that you want to apply it to. The parameter controls for that effect appear, and you can adjust them to get the look you're after. Finally, to deliver your video, click the Make Movie button. This takes you to the familiar Make Movie wizard that you can use to deliver your video in the format you want. You can use any or each of these modes that you find helpful, and you can always jump in and out of power user mode to take full control of your edit at any time.